Welcome to Once Upon a Crime Stories from the underbelly of faraway land where not everyone has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Casey. And I'm Kyla. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the li three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer from Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Georgia with more. I'm here in faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr Wolf, you've been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about those accusations? Well, I think those little three little pigs are just screaming for attention. Plus, I would never do such a thing. Like he said, those little pigs are just big fat liars and, in our opinion, they would make great bacon. Well, apparently you have been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? Well me, duh. I'm handsome, I'm strong and I got good dance moves. And also, of course, I would want to steal the um, Red Riding Hood's basket because I cannot help but get some delicious biscuits. And plus, that little boy was literally calling my name. Yeah, I agree with her. Like, literally, the boy is calling his name. What do you expect him to do? Just hide away? No. And who would pass on a basket full of goodies? Like, those are so yummy. Well, what do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing but a loser, an unwanted criminal, and a dangerous... Well, people call me the Big Bad Wolf, but really... Sorry. I'm just a nice guy, and that really hurts my feelings when you call, when you call me a Big Bad Wolf. And I just wanted some friends, and I was just a little bit hungry. I can't help myself. How dare you! It's okay. It's okay. Well, um, thank you for your time, and good luck in your trial. I will find those pigs, I will hunt them down, and I will turn them into pork chop, and ham, and bacon. And if you don't agree with me too, I will munch you up. Back to the studio. Now, for news of escaped kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel, their story captured the heart of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their new Auradel in their new book, Blackbirds, A.R. Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Vaish was at the book's release in the deep, dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hi, my name is Vaish, and here with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? I'm going to buy myself a pretty pink princess castle with a dungeon in it. Wait, I didn't know there were any jewels in the house. Of course you didn't, you're an imbecile. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? I went to the gym and ate no sugar. I haven't seen you touch a gym in years. And also, you ate a chocolate bar before this. What have you guys learned from this experience? To never, ever save Hansel ever again. I should have, have sacrificed Gretel. Should have not? You would have been dead without me. Thank you guys for your time. Back to you in the studio. There's a wicked whisper in the woods that is not all as well with the marriage of the celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last longer. We go to our reporter Fetu. Thanks, Casey, and hello everyone. I'm Fetu here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> And hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where opposite fell in love against the odds. How's it going with you two? Well, it's gone pretty good so far, but... It's actually going pretty bad because every time I give him food, he's always finding a way to eat it. So, if y'all are watching this, run along because he'll come chasing after you. I'm... 
hungry. So you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast beast. What is the reality of living with someone that is completely different with you? Well, it's kind of different, but not really, because I'm the beauty, he's the beast, but he's an animal. That's mean. So your recent duet album has gone, did not sell well, and your fashion album has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? We're probably going to get married. We're going to get a mansion. No, we're, we're getting married, guys. No, we're getting married. We're getting married. We're getting, we're getting married. We're getting, getting married. We're, we're getting married. We're getting married. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. Back to the studios. Thanks, Fiddle. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Jaira and Vaish, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week. Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep, dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white. Overnight on Wednesday, wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straws or gingerbread. Because it will, it will be fee five foe freezing. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding, otherwise it's happy ending to the working week of the, for the most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks Jaro and Vaish. Finally tonight, long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel has sw swung the beauty, sweeping beauty hair salon. Her st his stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hair dryer. The result was a haircut so terrible that threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's our reporter, Lani. Thank you, Casey. I'm here outside court where the first day of lawsuit has just finished and here comes Princess Rapunzel and her stylist now. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? <laughs> Fine with me, I guess. Okay. Okay, so how did you react when you saw what happened to your hair? I felt so betrayed. I loved this girl. She was one of my bestest of friends. And then she betrayed me. She had my trust and turned my hair into this. Just so you know, it wasn't me who turned your hair like that. It was my twin sister who should be watching this right now. Anyways, so you should not be blaming me for it. You should be blaming my boss, equal my twin sister. Okay, interesting. So what do you have to say to the owner of Sleeping Beauty Salon, which you think is her, who ruined your hair, career and your reputation? I had a life. I had a really, really good life before this. And then you just had to go and mess it up, all because of my hair. And yeah, you may think it grows back. You really think it's going to grow back as long as it did before? No, it's not. Okay. Well, according to my calculations, when I last checked my closet, I had this beautiful hair growing gel where you just go scoopity scoop, you go put it on your hair and then voila, your hair's back to normal. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, what are you gonna do about your hair? And do you reckon it can be fixed? You seriously think this can be fixed with that bibbity bobbity gel that whatever the heck she's talking about is probably fake. She lies, she always lies. Your hair's gonna look so good at the end of this. Do you think this looks good? Okay, true, it's pretty true. Well, think what you want to, boo. But I'm not lying. Okay, well thank you for your time, Rapunzel and Stephanie. Um, back to the studio. That's all for tonight. Although we've just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He's hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked and stay safe from the whole team at once upon a cry. Good, Good night. night.